Hi, I'm Pastor Sammy, and I'm so glad you've decided to join me again for another special message about this week's gospel reading. Now, the last couple of weeks, we've had these stories called parables that didn't actually happen, but they're stories that Jesus told so that the people could learn more about God and God's kingdom. Well, this week, we have an actual account of a conversation that happened between Jesus and the Herodians and the Pharisees. Now, what you need to know is that the Herodians and the Pharisees usually argued against one another. They fought. But in this case, they joined forces so they could work together to take down Jesus in an argument and get him in big trouble. Now, luckily, Jesus saw right through it in his wit and wisdom and faithfulness. He avoided all of the trouble they tried to get him into and actually still managed to teach us something new about God. Now, I think usually when we think about the things we have, we think too small. We think about the things that we have or that God has given us, and we think about it like pie. Pie that's divided up into different pieces. So we imagine that if we take one piece of pie, then we, and we give it away to somebody else, then we only have a few left. And another, we only have two pieces left, we give another away, and then we only have one left and we have to decide, do we give it to somebody else or do we keep it for ourselves? What do we do? And whatever we decide, in the end, the pie gets eaten and it's gone and then there's nothing left. The things that we have, the things that we've been given, the things that God gives to us are not like pie. They're like something else instead. They are like love. Just think about it. When you love somebody else and you share that love with them, they share that love back to you in return. And actually, when we share that love back and forth, we're not losing anything. It's not even neutral. It's better than that. That love actually grows. And you never know, the love that you share with somebody else, that might empower them to be able to share more love out in the world and the love that they share with you might empower you to share more love out into the world and it just grows exponentially. And we know that because love comes from God, that it has no end and that it will never run out. What an amazing gift. So instead of thinking about the stuff we have like pie that runs out, imagine thinking about it more like love. Imagine thinking not so much, how much do I get to keep for myself and how much do I have to give away? But imagine thinking, how much do I dare keep to myself and how much do I have the opportunity to give away and share with others? What will God do with the things that I have to share versus my small ideas for what I would do with it instead. Just imagine how this shift might affect your life. Instead of thinking about what you have and what you need to keep and accumulate, thinking more about what you can give, what you can share, and what God might do with it instead. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time.